Hello, hello, friends. Guess what? It's the end of a two-month era, a two-month-long era. Um, I finally, well, that's what I think this is, got my replacement sets. So let's talk about it a bit. Okay, let's see here. Yep, that's what this is. Let's see here. This is so odd to me, you guys. Okay, so. These were supposed to have been... Oh, no. This isn't my replacement sets, you guys. These are the sets I just ordered from Summer Stuff. Hang on. I'm going to move gonna move those off to the side because I will show you them but first let's do this okay so these are my replacement sets and they were supposed to have come ages ago um in fact Marcy got hers before me and she's out in Washington so I messaged them um and the reason she got hers first is because they had sent mine to my old address from two and a half years ago. So that hasn't been on my account in two and a half years. No idea where it came from. My whole, um, you know, as soon as we moved, I removed that one and put my, you know, main address on there. It's the only address on my account. I don't understand it. Also, it had been sitting there. <laughs> like, I don't know what they were going to do. Were they going to ever reach out to me at some point and say, hey, your sets are sitting here. They got returned, which luckily they got returned, but nonetheless. All right. So this is a set of Tokyo lights um, and Fa signed it. So there we go. So. Here's what I had coming. Unicorn, 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 Tucson, Marigold, Sunset, Cherry, Portugal, Portugal. Oh, what's this called? Orchid, 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 um, the Petite Starfell. And then, um, regular Starfall. What's this one even called? Love Me Not. And then some weeds. So that was initially what was in my order. Uh, this all started crap. Let me give you a date because it was way back, you guys. Way, way back. I have since then figured out how to check my sets to see if they're open without opening them up because that's a big concern for people okay so this was ordered on april 4th and i got it on april what 8th yes april 8th um 16 of the 20 sets in my order were open had little cracks in them um since then i can't even count how many stylists and friends um, and people I don't know have had the same problem. Color Street says it's not a problem. As long as I see other people having the problem, it's it's considered a problem to me. But whatever. Um, so if you get when you get your sets, a when you open the packaging, if you smell any nail polish smell, know that there's something in there that is not sealed. Also, take your individual set and just give it a little squeeze so that if there's a crack in there, the air coming out is going to smell like polish. So, nope. It'll smell like cardboard if not, you guys. Nope. And now, do I think this is a ridiculous step to have to do with every set you get? Yeah, it is. But until they acknowledge it and fix it, that's what I'm. that's where I'm at, right? So it took me going all the way to the top, meaning all the way to Fa, to get to the point 
um, A, where these were actually sent out, although be it to the wrong address. Um, isn't that a beautiful one? Totally so good. And it, sh it shouldn't have. So when my stylist put in the ticket on the 8th, within a couple days, the replacement should have sent up, should have been sent out. So if you have ever made a return to any business, hard stop, and they've told you that they'll give you your money back or get you a replacement in the next two months, tell me exactly how that would have settled for you. Because that's where we're at right now with these. So, here is my spring sets ordered on the 4th. And I open all of my sets, you guys, because I keep my nails in a binder. I don't keep them in their cardboard packaging. And honestly, good thing for me, because if I didn't open them all, I wouldn't have known that 16 of them were um, sitting there drying out. So, take your time with them. Go through your nails. If you don't open them, it's fine. You don't have to open them. But do a good sniff test on them. Because you want to be able to let them know. And, like, uh, there's a stylist in Sassy Crew who opened a set from Open Arms from 2020. And it had the crack and was dried out. So she grabbed another set, opened that one, same thing. You guys, this has been going on a long time. Honestly, in my opinion, anytime you get a set that's a little bit dry, more than likely, if you knew about it and thought to look for it, you would find a little crack. Guar Actually, I'm going to say guaranteed. So, all right, real quick, I got a little nail mail from a friend who's been trying out some off-brands. Off-brand overlays. Look how cute that one is. Oh, it's super cute. She got these from Rap City. Thank you, Virginia. I love these. I can't wait to use them. They're nice and thick silver ones. And then we can look real quick at, well, we don't need to look at Starfall because we've done seen it. But I mean, it seems silly to have to check every package, but I, I would not, I just am at the point where I would not, I can't not do it. Like, I just don't trust it. And you guys know, once your packaging is gone or once you're past the three months, it's too bad, so sad for you, right? But even if you're past the point where it's too bad, so sad for you, I still think it's good to let them know because otherwise it's just going to be a constant thing. Um, and I also think it's something important that they need to communicate with the stylist. And I understand why they don't want to do it because it's going to cause panic in the stylist, right? But at the same point, you're screwing your customers. And if you're a stylist who says, nope, nope, that can't happen, I hope that you can find yourself a better attitude for when one of your customers comes to you and says, hey, this has happened to me. Oh, that's super good, you guys. Not a single print line to be seen. So smooth. So smooth. This is the one I was super excited for. This is the Maui Sky. Yep, that's really pretty. And that's a Prism FX. And there are no print lines. I mean, and that's easy to be a clouds or a sky for you. I mean, uh, water for you. I don't think you have to use it as sky if you don't want, in my opinion. Aloha Spirit. Ooh, this clear as day was from is from 
um, 23. So I want to try that because they've said they made clear as day thinner. But when I've ordered clear as day, it's still, I'm still getting way old stock. Yeah, that one will be fun. Oh, it's glitter also. Very good. I don't think I would use this like whole set. But I'll definitely use it as an accent full finger or maybe as slants with something bold popping out under it. That would be good. Here's what I've been waiting for. The overlay. You know, I'm an overlay fan. Yeah. That's good. That's real good. Oh, I love it. Yep. I love it. And it's good and busy, but that's kind of what I'm looking for. A lot of times when I'm using an overlay, it's because I'm trying to cover up a set I don't love as much. <laughs> so if you get a good busy one like that, then you can... Just have a little bit of the colors popping out under it. You don't need to have, um, you know, the focus isn't so much the overlay. All right. And I was looking forward to these, which is Maple Moment. Oh, they're so cute. And now this is a colored overlay, you guys. Let me get the. Super cute. This is going to be so good in fall. Yeah. I love it. I love that very gentle like. Diamond underneath it. Makes it look like a. Cushion. <laughs> That's what it looks like. A cushion. Alright. So there we go guys. That's my nail mail for today that is an update on what's been happening with package gate now that i have the packages in my hands i'm calling that officially a wrap on that exact situation but that does not mean that i will go slack on checking every single set you guys every single set it'll start with the second I open the envelope, can I smell polish? If I can smell polish, then it's, you know, a gentle little squeeze like this to get some air going. And if I smell polish on that set, that's one. Also, because one of my comments from my video, which made me laugh, was that had I opened the packages on screen, on video, she would have believed it. Which, girl, ain't nobody getting their nail mail and opening. First of all, I'm probably, those of us that open and put our sets in a binder are in the minority as is. So, that's not even a realistic thing. Like, until you open them, you're not going to know if you have an issue. But, if at some point, and I don't doubt it'll happen... I get a polished smelling package again. Trust and believe. I will pop my camera open. We'll open them together. And we'll look at them again. Just like we've already done. And you know. I encourage you. If you're somebody with a YouTube. And wind up with the same problem on any of your sets. To put a video up about it. Because. They have to keep seeing it, apparently, in order for them to do anything about it. And I know tons of tickets have been set in, sent in, but those tickets aren't causing enough commotion for anything to get done, apparently. So, all right, guys, have a good one. And hang on, hang on, hang on. That one you can see. See that little bit there? It's not cracked open yet. But that's one that got, well, what I think is they get too much heat and get brittle. And that's where it's starting. That foggy spot is where it starts. 
and I smell no polish and I don't feel any crack but I will zap a little heat seal on that you guys because I won't trust it because I know it's already brittle right so now we're going to finish opening these because now I'm back now I'm back to the point of I trust nothing okay and I hate being at the point of I trust nothing with a company that I support so heavily and love the product so much and I'm not a stylist you guys I'm not a stylist and I only ordered a petite starfall just because I wanted to play with like a petite set in an actual color versus like whatever random pattern they threw at me So did that help to know what you're looking for? I know the other video is still posted, but you have to scroll a little bit for it. I just want people to keep their eyes open. Like, it's irritating to me that... I mean, it's this right here that I'm going to give a little extra heat seal to keep it safe, that foggy bit... These were, I'm trying, I'm going to try to shake this down a bit. Um, these sets came all like hand packed. We checked, checked, double checked. I mean, obviously these weren't hand packed. We know that because the kind that open like this are not the hand packed kind. They're machine done. But nonetheless, you know, it's just one of those things, you guys. It's not going to go away. It's not going to go away until they get enough people talking about it. Because you know that um, you know the last thing they want to do is like say, oh, any set. <laughs> because now I've seen it on sets produced all the way back from 2020 up to 2023. Uh, one of my girlfriends had one in her April sub box. I mean, it was made in February of this year. All right, you guys. This one feels iffy to me. Let me shake it down. Okay. There we go. Check your packages. Know what you're in for. You pay enough for these. Don't let them bend you over on things. Stay vigilant. Talk to you later, ladies.